Okay, now that you've made it through a couple of examples of ERDs, and to be honest, these are definitely some of the more complicated examples for this class. Uh, actual ERDs, I've had some with literally hundreds of entities in the ERD. Um, we're going to do something that's a little bit simpler, but important for you to understand. In particular, we want you to learn the difference between serialized and non-serialized uh, uh, entities. So in this case, in our order processing system, we call this a non-serialized uh, entity. Product here refers to conceptual products that don't have a serial number. For example, uh, back here, let's go to this t page. Okay, our products table. Like I mentioned a couple of videos ago, football is a conceptual product. Conceptual meaning this row refers to all 100 footballs that we currently have on hand. This row represents all 200 baseballs we currently have on hand. As opposed to having each row representing a specific football with a specific uh, serial number. If each row represented a specific football, how many rows total would there have to be in this database? Well, at a minimum, there'd have to be 350, one to represent each one of these three products that we have. Sometimes, though, that's exactly what we want to do. Certain products, we really care about tracking the exact product sold and who it was sold to. Can you think of some examples in practice? How about cars? Cars have a VIN number. You got Each person will only buy one car, and, uh, and each car will show up on only one order. Yeah, I can buy multiple cars, but there's going to be multiple sales contracts. Uh, other times, I want to have a serialized product, but I can have many products on an order. For example, guns. I can go and buy multiple guns, and they'll all be on the same receipt, but that receipt's going to have each gun listed separately with its own serial number. In both of those ca cases, cars and guns, I'm going to want to list every product out in this table, but I'll have a different relationship in those two examples with orders. Let's do both. So I'm going to copy this just so we have a historical record here. Copy, paste. Did that work? Oh, it's thinking. There we go. No, 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 we're good. No, don't do that. Let's move it now. All right, let's put this here. Let's get our student registration system out of the way. As awesome as it was. Put it way down here. Okay, here we go. Let's edit this one to be for uh, serialized products. So up here, let's insert a text box, add a comment. No, that's not what I meant. Text, there we go. All right, this is non-serializable or serialized products. Cool. That's what that is. Uh, let's copy paste that. We're going to call this one serialize. Oops. No, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to double click here. No, not that either. Control undo. There we go. Serialized um, products one, two, many. Let me show you what I mean. The first example I want to do is for the guns. So in the guns example, I'm going to have on an order many guns, but I'm keeping track of each specific gun. What does that imply then for my order line item table? Well, what it means is I don't have to, each product, I still have a one to many relationship, or at least I, I, an order can still have many products, but a product is no longer going to appear on many orders, right? Because if I'm selling a specific gun and recording the serial number, that gun with that serial number as a row in the database will only ever be assigned to one and only one order. I can't sell the same gun twice. So what does that imply I'm going to do? Hopefully you realize that means we're going to have to drop and get rid of the order line items table. And this actually simplifies things greatly. What it means now is that I'm going to add over here. I now have a one-to-many relationship, right? An order can have many products, a product on only one order. 
So do I take order ID and put it in product? Or product number, sorry, and put it in order? Hopefully you remember our rule in a one-to-many relationship. Primary key from the one side goes in the many side. So let's come over here, add a row, or add a field. This is going to be foreign key, order number, close. And I'm going to draw a relationship from order number to order number. So in a serializable product or a serializable entity, I no longer have a many-to-many -many relationship. So if you're struggling to understand this, let me go back here. Let's say this is now guns. Product ID, I'm going to call this the serial number now. Serial number, and it's going to be some big ugly thing, right? Uh, with letters and numbers. That's that serial number. That's that serial number. That's that serial number. Big gun. Medium gun. You can tell I know a lot about guns. Little gun. Okay. No longer a quantity on hand. That's irrelevant. There's only one of each of these things, so we don't even need that filled. Cost 200, uh, 150, 100. Okay, don't laugh at me for how little I know here. So, uh, this gun. Now, actually, hold on. Let me change this to where we have big gun, 200. Let's say we have two of the exact same type of guns. They each now have their own row because they each have their own serial number. Same price, same name, different serial numbers. That's why, that's how this is different. It's no longer does this row represent a hundred big guns. It is one of those big guns. And that particular big gun with that serial number will only ever appear on one of these orders, like order one. Therefore, order one, although it could include all three of these guns, each of these guns will only ever appear on one of those. So that's why we have a one-to-many relationship now between order and product. And that's all we need to do. We leave it just like that. Okay, let's do the cars example. Cars are slightly different. I'm going to copy all this. Control-C, Control-V, move it down here. Serialized products in a one, two, one. Okay, the only difference now between cars and guns is that with cars you have a specific government regulated purchase contract for every car. And if I want to go into a dealership today and buy two cars, I have to have two separate purchase contracts. Well, that means that no longer can an order have many products on it. An order will only ever have one car on it and a car will only ever appear on one order. So all that changes is that we're going to click on this and make it one to one. All right, now one to one relationships. Those are a little complicated in terms of where do I put the foreign key. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to take this off, reduce down one of those fields. Uh, I have this conceptual relationship one to one. Now the question is where do I put do I take order number and put it in product, or product number and put it in order? This is the first time where I'm going to talk to you about what's called minimum cardinalities. And I don't want to get too deep into these because you only need to know it for this one specific context. So far, this one to many is referring to the maximum cardinality, meaning an order can have what's the maximum number of products? Well, infinity, it's many. And for a product, what's the maximum number of orders it can appear on? It's one. There's also a minimum cardinality. Will I ever record an order if there's not at least one product on it? No, I won't. Therefore, the minimum cardinality is actually one, and I denote that like this. The minimum is this one on the inside, the maximum is this one. On the other hand, will I record a product in my products database if it doesn't ever appear on any order? Well, sure I might. I, I, I could have a gun on, on hand, anything that I haven't sold, hasn't appeared on an order yet. Max, it'll only ever appear on one order, but minimum, it may appear on zero orders. Let me move this over now. So now I'm saying that a product may be on zero orders, but a max of one order, whereas an order will have a minimum of one product and a max of many products. Now, let's apply that right here, and that will help us determine where to put the foreign key. Will we ever have an order without at least one product? No, we will not. 
So let's change this to this one. That means it's going to have a minimum of one, a maximum of one. A product or a car. Will a car, it'll be on a maximum of one purchase contract, but will I store a car in my database if it's not on any purchase contract? Absolutely. Those are the cars that are on my lot that I haven't sold. So I'm going to change this end to zero to one. All right, so here's here's where we're gonna here's how this rule applies now. If I record an order and or if I have a product, if I put order ID over here on the product, there's a chance that it's going to be blank, right? Because I'll have a car that doesn't hasn't been sold yet, and so order is going to be blank. But if I put product number over here on order then it will always be filled because I'm only going to record an order if there's a product being sold. So product number over here in order as a foreign key will never be blank. All right, if you're struggling to understand understand that, let me show you that right here. So let's say this is now our cars. This is a Toyota, I don't like, to, uh, Ford F-150, Ford F-150. Um, Ford F-150, that's fine. And no longer is this a serial number, it's a VIN, right? Okay, so I've got orders and products. If I say, okay, let's put order number over here to tie each product to a specific order. This car has been sold, it's on order one. This car has not been sold, it's blank. This car has been sold, it's on order two. See how anytime a car is not sold, we're going to have a blank space. So that means wasted space, and we don't like to waste space. So let's not do that. Instead, let's put VIN number over here. Okay, order one includes this VIN. Order two includes this VIN. I'll never have an order if there's not a VIN number attached to it. It will never be blank over here because the minimum cardinality is a zero. So in a one-to-one -one relationship, I'm going to take the... Uh, primary key where the minimum cardinality is 1 and move it to the side where the minimum cardinality is 0 every time. So right down here, add a filled foreign key. We'll call this VIN. And this is our cars example, so I'm going to change this one to VIN too. VIN. And up here I should really call this serial number because guns have serial numbers. Okay, now you might be asking, Oh, also, don't let me forget, I need to change this. This goes down to here. This goes to there. All right. Now, you might be asking, what if the minimum cardinality over here were also 1? What if it was 1 to 1 and 1 to 1? In that case, it doesn't matter. Put the foreign key in either side. It doesn't make a bit of difference. All right. So that's serialized versus non-serialized products. Serialized when it's 1 to many. Serialized when it's 1 to 1.